Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this session, we will learn about binary trees in data structures. But before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have daily updates on multiple technologies. If you are a tech geek in a continuous hunt for latest technological trends, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now without further ado, let's get started with the agenda for today's discussion. So we shall begin our session by learning a binary tree and some basic terms related to binary tree. Then we will try to implement it in the code editor. After that, we will discuss its properties. Then we will discuss different types of binary trees. Then we will try various operations on them like traversal, insertion and deletion. And finally, we will take a glance on what are our final key takeaways from this session. But before we begin, make sure that you have subscribed to our YouTube channel and clicked on that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. So without further ado, let's get started with our first topic. That is what exactly is a binary tree? So it is a tree data structure in which each node can have at most two child nodes. These nodes are referred to as left child node and right child node. Next, let's discuss about some terms related to binary tree. First up, a node. A node consists of data and linked to its both child nodes. Next, the root node. Root node is the first node of the tree. Next, leaf nodes. These are the nodes which has no child. Next, parent node. Apart from the root node, any node which has at least one child is called as parent to that child node. Next up, a child node. Any node with a parent is called as a child node. Next up is the internal node. Any node with a child and a parent is called as an internal node. Next up is the height of the binary tree. The longest path from the root to any leaf node is called as the height of the binary tree. Next up is the depth of the binary tree. The depth of the node is the total number of edges from the root node to the target node or the last child node. Now let's try to implement the binary tree in the code editor. As you can see, now we are on the code editor and the code on my screen is an example for binary tree. Now here you can see that we have created a structure for node followed by that we have a function where we will print the tree and this is our main function. Now, don't worry about the code. This particular code segment will be available in our description box below and you can always have access to it and try to edit and run this code on your own local system to have a better learning experience. Now, without further ado, let's try to run this program quickly and see the output. So there you go, the code got successfully executed and here you can see the output of this particular binary tree. Now let's get back to the theory part. So as discussed before, followed by the implementation part, we will learn about the properties of a binary tree. Now let's discuss the properties of the binary trees. First up, maximum number of nodes at a level L is 2 to the power L. Next up, maximum number of nodes in a binary tree of height h is equals to 2 to the power of h minus 1. Next up, minimum possible height in a binary tree with two nodes is equals to log of l plus 1 base 2. Next up, the minimum possible level in a binary tree with n nodes is equals to log of l plus 1 base 2. Finally, a binary tree with l leaves has at least log L base 2 plus 1 levels. Now, let's discuss about the different types of binary trees. First up, we have the full binary tree. Followed by that, we have the complete binary tree. Then we have the perfect binary tree. Followed by that, we have the balanced binary tree. And lastly, the degenerate binary tree. Let's discuss about these in detail. First up, full binary tree. A full binary tree is a unique tree data structure in which a node can have either two children or no child. Next, a complete binary tree. 
So a complete binary tree is another specific binary tree where each node on all levels except the last level must have two children and at the lowest level all leaves should reside possibly on the left side. The next one is the perfect binary tree. A binary tree is perfect if every node must have two children and every leaf is on the same level. The next one is called as the balanced binary tree. A binary tree is balanced if for each node the height of the left subtree and the height of the right subtree varies at most by just one. At last we have the degenerate binary tree. A binary tree is said to be degenerate if every internal node has only one child. We have now discussed the binary tree, some terms and properties related to binary trees and types of binary trees. Now we will look into the operations that needs to be performed on the binary tree. So there are basically three types of operations that can be performed on binary tree which are traversal, insertion and deletion. So first we'll look into the traversal operations. There are three different types of traversal operations possible on binary tree which are pre-order traversal, in-order traversal and finally the post-order traversal. Now let's get back into the text editor mode and try to execute our example. So right now we are on the text editor and this particular code is for the traversal operations on our binary tree. And here you can see we have the structure for node and we have also the in order function, pre order function and post order function. And don't worry about the code, this particular code will be available in the description box below. And after you have written the code, we have some standard input over here. You can see that we are giving the number of edges as 4 and the left subtree elements are 2 and 1 and the right subtree elements are 2 and 3 and another left subtree elements are 3 and 5 and lastly we have 5 and 6 for another left subtree. Now let's try to execute this code. Now we have already executed the code and we also have the output over here and here you can see we have entered the number of edges as 4 and the traversal is in order traversal which is 1, 2, 6, 5 and 3 and the pre-order traversal output is 2, 1, 3, 5, 6 and the post-order traversal is 1, 6, 5, 3 and 2. Now let's get back to the PPT. Now we have the insertion operation. And now let's get back to our text editor and try to see an example for insertion operation as well. So on my screen you can see an example for insertion operation. So here we have the insert function. As I said this particular code will be available in the description box below. Now let's provide the standard input. So the standard input will be 4 edges and we have 2 and 1 as the left subtree and 2 and 3 as the right subtree. 3 and 5 as left subtree again and 5 and 6 as the left subtree. Now let's quickly run this code and there you go. The program got successfully executed and here we have the output. The nodes got inserted and it has provided an in order traversal that is 1, 2, 6, 5 and 3. Now let's get back to the presentation and the last type of operation is the deletion operation. Let's quickly execute an example based on deletion operation as well. Now as you can see we are on the text editor again. Now here the example is for deletion operation. We have the delete function over here. Now for this particular program we don't need any standard inputs. So just let's run the program. So there you go. The program got successfully executed and we have the output over here and in order traversal before deletion and in order traversal after the deletion of an element. So the deleted element is element 11. Now with that let's get back to the presentation mode again. So that's how the element got deleted. Now we have reached to the last part of this session that happens to be the final key takeaways. So what are the final takeaways? So binary tree is faster at search operations than other type of tree and it is easier to find maximum and minimum elements in the binary tree. Binary tree does not allow duplicate values and graph traversal is done using binary tree. It is used to convert the postfix expressions into the prefix expressions. So these were the final takeaways.
Now with that, we have come to an end of this session on binary trees. If you have any queries regarding the session, then please feel free to ask them away in the comment section below and our team of experts will be happy to resolve all your queries. Until next time, thank you, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.